Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying two limited edition Chakur candy bars. I have the Spiced Cookie Pieces White Chocolate. And mine is the Peppermint Cream and Dark Chocolate. These were sent to us from Leah in California. Thank you very, very much to Leah. These, uh, Chakur is an Aldi brand, mm -hmm. and Leah paid $2.49 each for these at her Aldi in California. So, it's one big bar. Hefty bar. Uh, some of these, I don't know what the difference is. Some of these chocolate bars, you get them and they're, they're individual sticks. Right. And they have the little bitty squares yeah. inside. And then sometimes you get them and it's one big bar. I think it's neat that that made it all the right way here from... From California. California in one piece. When yeah. I saw this, I immediately thought of my favorite Ritter Sport Bar. My favorite Ritter Sport Bar is the white chocolate with um, cinnamon. Yeah. It's the one that they do at uh, Christmas time. So I wonder if this is going to taste like that Ritter Sport. It says smooth and creamy European chocolate. Um, it, this smooth European white chocolate with crispy pieces of speculoo cookies is the perfect treat for all white chocolate lovers to indulge in during the holiday season. Six servings per container, five squares, 33 grams is 180 calories. And these are made in Germany. I'll tell you what, I put the cookies in there. Mm. It is absolutely full of cookies. Mm-hmm. The white chocolate, well, I'll wait a minute to you. I already have an opinion. All right. The white chocolate's not an American white chocolate. It's not sweet like an American white chocolate. It doesn't remind me of the Ritter either. Uh -uh. No, the Ritter is more of an American mm -hmm. style chocolate. This is more of the European white, which is more creamy and milky kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. um, kind of like it's made out of evaporated milk or something like that. It's, it's kind of got that flavor to it. The Ritter Sport is sweeter. The Ritter yeah, Sport, this, their their white chocolate's not that sweet. No, it. Um, if I were to choose one, that's the one I would choose. Yeah. Would be the Ritter Sport. Because I do like the cookies in this though. I like the cookies, but it is when you're used to a very sweet white chocolate. That is not the white chocolate that most Americans are used to, and yeah. it's not going to appeal to their taste. I don't believe because mm -hmm. no, you're used to sweet. You're used to very sweet. And even, this has a different flavor. It's even a white of, confection, yeah, even a sweet. white confection is much sweeter than what you're gonna get here. Yeah. This is just different and it's not bad, but it's just not as sweet. Yeah, I think an American white chocolate typically is like a vanilla um, flavor. Mm -hmm. This one is more of a milky, milky. creamy kind of Cre flavor. Yeah, milky. I definitely think yeah. it's milky. Okay. It's not bad. It's just different. Just we've had plenty of, mm -hmm. of European chocolates and we've gotten kind of used to it, but it's still not a flavor I, I, I enjoy. Yeah, I would be surprised if that, I mean, I think it'll sell at Aldi. No doubt it's going to sell oh, yeah. because it's something different and it's limited edition. But it would surprise me if people that bought it this year would repurchase it, it again yeah. next year or buy, go back for another one because it's not what they thought it was going to be. Yeah. I do one, love the texture of those cookies though. Oh yeah, and there's tons of them. Um, this one was actually sealed. That one was just folded over. This one's actually Ah, okay. Um, it's interesting how they're done a little differently. Uh, peppermint cream dark chocolate. <laughs> It says, this fine European dark chocolate with a smooth peppermint cream filling is the perfect treat for all dark chocolate. For all dark chocolate lovers to indulge in during the holiday season. It's 50% cocoa. Um, That's snappy though. Six servings, four squares is 160 calories. It's a little snap to it. I really like the texture of that cream. It's nice. You get the texture of the cream, mm -hmm. but it's mainly chocolate. Mm -hmm. It is. And it's that kind of oily chocolate texture. Not that that's bad, I'm just saying that's what it is. I actually like it very much. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about it is the dark chocolate's not like bitter, bitter. It's, it's, um, I love the texture of it. I think it's terrific. I, I, I like the, the, 
It, it's a little bit snappy from the dark chocolate, but then you get all that cream in the it's center. Full. And it makes it very, very soft. Mm -hmm. And I, I, the, the peppermint is light. And so you mainly are getting that dark chocolate flavor. Yeah, it, uh, that, I, now I really like that, but you have to like dark chocolate. And I, you're not gonna be buying it That's if you don't like it. dark chocolate. Um, pretty thick. Yeah. The, the cream is pretty thick. Now, what, would you compare this peppermint to any of your classics, like a Andy? It's not as strong as like a York. I don't think it is either. Junior mint, it's not, it, this is darker than the junior mint. The chocolate's darker. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe, maybe an Andy's a little bit, although I think this is a stronger chocolate. I think the chocolate is stronger, yeah. but I think the mint in all of those is a stronger peppermint than yeah. this. Yeah, this is not a really strong mint. I mean, this, the star of this show is the dark chocolate, 100%. not the peppermint. Yeah. You get the peppermint, but it's just not a really strong one. Right. This is more like a natural mint. That like said, I think this mint. is delicious. This is one of those I like. I, I, I've put peppermint, uh, the, this kind of thing, in the freezer before, mm -hmm. like York. I like this kind of thing in the freezer. Cold. Yeah, this would be really nice in the freezer. Um, mm -hmm. I think it'd have a great texture, too. Now, That's the winner for Now me. that it's settled in, it mm -hmm. is a little dark. Uh, again, it's, a little bit yeah. of that bitterness. I wasn't in it first. Because you're pulling that darkness from your teeth. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, and it's just chocolate, yeah. no peppermint. When I, when I was eating it with the peppermint, I didn't really get the, the that bitter, dark chocolate. Right. Now it's kind of leftovers, the chocolate, mm -hmm. and um, you do get the bitterness from it. It's not horrible, but it, if you don't like dark chocolate at all, you'll hate these. But I like it quite a bit. So, I and I mean, normally I go to always go to white or milk, but I think it's delicious. Yeah. If this had been an American white chocolate, I probably would have picked this one, mm -hmm. but it, it's just not. It's and you not can even look at the color. It's that off white. Yes. Color. It, it, yes. It looks different. Mm -hmm. um, so, but don't it's worry. Not bad. Yeah, Leah, it won't get wasted no, no. because uh, I have somebody who will love that candy bar. Uh, but this is the clear winner. Yeah, yeah. So if you can get to Aldi while these are still out, uh, that's the thing. As people have told me, I really want to try it, but who knows if I. Yeah, if Aldi's, once they sell out, it's like it's gone. <laughs> right, exactly. So you have to hit them at the perfect mm -hmm. time. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.